Okay guys, the sun is going down so it might be kind of dark. Um, but I just want to show you what I'm doing now. I'm working with the tool and um, I have six yards of tool. I didn't want to get too much tool because tool can get messy so I got a lining so it'll still have that same effect but less tool. Um, so what I did was as you can see this is and it's folded. Um, to make my life easier I took it and I pinned it all the way. Um, I'm not going to do a gather stitch because in the past yeah, so in the past my gather stitches break and I don't feel like dealing with all that drama. I would like to tape this as quickly, I mean <laughs> get this outfit together as quickly as possible because as you know I have like four other <laughs> outfits to design and sew myself. So what I did was basically I folded, I think I have two layers of tulle, so I folded it in half and then I folded it in half again. And so I took pins and I put all the way across the top part, as you can see. And this, this was for the whole purpose of gaining control of my fabric. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is do another technique that I saw Anita Rivers do. Check out her channel. She's awesome. Is that um, she made pleats. So um, I'm going to show you right now really quickly. Um, I'm going to bring this down to about 28, 29 inches, which is my waist. I might leave a little more room um, and make pleats to go to that measurement, 28, 29. So for the sake of clarity, once again, guys, I folded my tool in half from beginning to end, which gave me one lay two layers right one lay yeah I folded it in half from beginning to end and then I took that and I folded it in half again so there are four layers here of tool you can't see it but I'm just trying to get you to understand and I pinned it all the way at the top to gain control of my tool so now I am going to take it I'm not going to do it on camera but I'm going to make look like this make pleats and pin it sort of like this sorry if it's not clear but I'm just trying to give you an idea I don't have my tripod make pleats and then as I'm making the pleats I'm gonna pin it all the way across I'm gonna pin it all the way across to the measurement of my waist your numbers are going to be different obviously because your waist will be different or it might be the same okay guys so actually what i realized is that because i'm only using six yards of tool i only need to double it one time which means i have two layers here so that is a correction if you're using more yards because some people use 20 40 whatever then you may need to triple quadruple whatever whatever I'm only using six so I realized tripling it was making it too short so um I'm I only need to double it and then from there I'm gonna do the pleats okay so you see the pleats and how I pinned it So you're going to take that to the sewing machine and stitch all the way down. Okay guys, so now you have your lining and I have two yards of satin lining material. You're going to do the same thing to your satin that you did to your tool. Um, the reason why is because if you want it to hang off and drape, then you're going to want to um, do the pleats just the same way as you did that if you don't do the pleats and you just like measure your waist and then do the um, lining according to your waist without doing pleats what's going to happen is the inside lining is going to go down straight and then the tool is going to flare out that's okay if you want that look but if you don't want that look you want both your lining and your tool to flare out you're going to need to pleat the lining just the same as you did with the tool so that's what I've done already and I've gone ahead and pinned it to the tool and I'm going to take that to my sewing machine you could do it on a zigzag stitch if you want so that it can 
catch all the fabric. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah. Okay guys, so this is the part where if you are using a waistband, you can add that to your skirt. Um, I have ribbon that I purchased and this looks like about maybe three inch ribbon and I got two yards of it. So you just make sure you evenly distribute it um, throughout your skirt so that you know whatever's hanging over will be even and you'll know everybody's project will be, be different so I took the right side of the ribbon and put it towards the right side of the skirt as you can see it's pinned down and so guys what I was trying to do with this waistband I don't think it came out the way I wanted it to so to be on the safe side when you do your waistband just take it fold it over the seam in half and just sew. I really don't know how to explain what I did or what I did wrong so just take your waistband fold it in half over and sew. That's it. <laughs> okay.